What's going on Guardians? Your man Sly here. Bungie just dropped its weekly update for this Thursday. It was slim compared to some of the more recent ones, but quality over quantity any day of the week. First up, they went over the dropping of the Sleeper Simulant quest and talked about how half the players said it was the greatest thing ever, and how the other half hated it. Deech asked Tyson Green in the update, and here are his thoughts. The response to Sleeper Simulant was humbling because we did not predict the community reaction. When we try new things, players often teach us a lesson about how to do it better, and this one has us thinking hard about how quests communicate their availability. Our challenge is balancing between the secrecy that makes these hunts exciting and transparency that could spoil the fun for the hunters. As long as the community is giving us feedback, we will keep seeking the ideal balance. Basically, they're saying the same thing they've said in every weekly update before, that they're working on improvements and that we, the players, need to keep up the feedback so they can keep improving. Speaking of feedback, there has been a lot of feedback in the Crucible lately. Some good, some bad, some great, some straight up horrible, most about shotguns. Bungie finally took notice and slammed the hammer on shotguns. Coming in update 2.0.1, they had this to say about it. Raise your hand if you think shotguns are fair in the Crucible. If your hand is in the air, you might want to take a seat. If it's not, and you're nursing an ego that has been bruised by buckshot, stick around for good news. And the good news is this, coming from John Wisniewski, senior designer at Bungie. And he has this to say about it. Since the release of 2.0, we've been analyzing data and listening closely to feedback. A new weapon meta is still settling. While there are predictions for what people may gravitate towards, we remain in observational orbit. <laughs> orbit. One piece of community feedback that has been unanimous is that the changes to shotgun perks were not enough to curb their lethality at extreme ranges in the Crucible. The prevalence of shot package on almost every long-range shotgun has effectively redefined close combat experiences. With deployment of 2.0.1, we will wholesale remove the shot package perk from all shotguns. Any shotguns with shot packets, depending on weapon, will now have close and or personal, crowd control, or knee pads. <laughs> this change has not negatively impacted our playtest. Even though shot, pa shot package is going away right now, expect to continue seeing shotguns used to great effect. Basically, the rest of what they're saying is that some maps are made for shotguns as well as some character builds. But hopefully, cross-map sniper shotties, Fell Winter's Matador, and Party Crasher will be toned down and ass load, and I, for one, am extremely happy. And finally, they showed off some movies of the week, and I recommend you go look at them. They are always entertaining. Hey guys, don't forget, October 13th, Iron Banner, 16th is Trials, and on the reset the 13th, Eververse Trading Company is taking over the tower. Tess Everest returns with new loot and a new currency system, as well as 18 new emotes. Check out my previous weekly update for more information on that. And that's all, Guardians. Like I said, it was a super, super small update, but juicy, just the way I like it. Just wanted to drop the gist of the good stuff this week, and as usual, stay sly, guys. This is your man Sly, done, gone, out.